Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a shared photo album in Google Photos so that you can use it in your Google Maps. So go to your Scott email. Here in your Scott email at the top you'll see your name and next to it this grid. We're going to click on a grid right here and we'll see photos here. If we don't see photos in this first window under the word more click there and you'll see photos there. But click on photos right there and your if you don't have any photos of course this will be blank. So you want to add some of your photos from your trip here. So I'm just going to click on some photos I have on my desktop and drop them straight into my Google's photo and down here it says they're uploading into the photo area. Then I'm going to click on shared album. Then I'm going to click on new shared album. I'm going to title these photos Atlanta, Georgia, since they were taken in Atlanta. Then click on share. Okay, and then just simply done. So now I have a photo album. Uh, I'm going to select the one I want to use, and I'm going to click here, and I want to use the full screen. It's a very important you use the full screen image, the one you're going to use in your map. But I have to get one more thing ready for my map annotation, and that is I need to get a Creative Commons license. I want to copyright this image so if someone else uses it, they know whether or not well, they know whether or not they can use it. And you can tell them whether they can or not by using the Creative Commons licensing. So I'm going to go to this website called creativecommons.org slash choose, okay? And here you can add elements to your license that lets other users know whether or not they can use your photo in, in, on their web page or to share your photo. And here it says allow adaptations of your work to be shared. I don't mind them people sharing this particular image. Allow commercial uses of your work. That's up to you. I generally say no. This is not free to use. And you're, if you're going to make money off of it, I would like to make money as well. Okay, and so then here you can fill in the title, etc. if you want to, but I would suggest down here under license mark, change this to offline so that you get a very simple text version of what this license is about. So you select that text and you copy it using control C on a Windows, command C on a Mac, or simply right click and click on copy. And then I come back to my uh, Scott email and click on Google Docs. I want a new blank doc. Then I'm going to paste using Control C or Command V on a Mac and copy my licenses so I can use this later in my Google Map. And I'm going to change the word work to photo. Now I have my license here that I can use in the photo. Okay? So now in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, add that photo into the map and add this Creative Commons wording to that. So we'll see you in the second video.